Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Solly Frimpong and on this channel, I document and share my financial freedom journey with you all. So if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for coming to see another video. So if you're a returning subscriber, you'll probably notice that my backdrop is very different to my usual setup. And that's because I'm outside in my garden. I just finished recording an intro to another video tutorial about how I made this palette corner so far. And I just really thought the colors just look so nice. I was like, let me record this up video outside while I'm here so that's why the setup looks like this let me know what you think of this backdrop actually in the comment section below and now that the weather's a lot nicer I'll probably be able to do a lot more videos out here so let me know what you think of it in the comment section below and the link to the tutorial as to how I made this so far actually will be in the description bar below because I made it out of recycled palettes so yeah in today's video though, that's not why you're here, you're here for my April update. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on how my April went and my plans and goals for the month of May. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into that for you right now. So I mentioned in the March update slash April goals video that I wasn't gonna set myself any goals for April, that I was just gonna kind of see how this whole situation plays out with the pandemic and things that are going on in the world and the whole lockdown at the moment so i didn't really set myself any goals or any objectives for the month it was just kind of survive this lockdown and see how things go in terms of this new reality that we're all having to navigate and with that being said what i did yesterday is i just sat back and actually took stock of how my april went and the things that i was able to achieve and accomplish during this lockdown i just thought it'd be good to share that with you guys in this update video and talk you through what I plan to do in the month of May. I can't believe April is really done, like the month has literally gone by so fast, considering that we haven't been out and we've just all been at home. I thought the time was gonna drag, but it really hasn't. I can't believe I'm making this update video already. So it just goes to show that time flies regardless of what you're doing. So it's just up to us to really make the most that we can with the time that we have. So one of the things that I have been able to do this month is quite a lot of reading, or should I say listening to audio books, but I've listened to two audio books this month, which were, March's read from Online Book Club and April's read from Online Book Club. So now I'm up to date with the reading for the Online Book Club. So I'm ready to start May's book at the 1st of May with everybody else, which is great. And so March's read was Your Money or Your Life and I wrote a book review for it and it's on my blog. The link to which is in the description bar below. I wrote a blog post on it and I've also written a blog post for April's read, which is You Are Badass at Making Money. I've linked that also in the description bar below. So. I've written and reviewed those two books, which is fantastic because now I'm up to date with my reading list for book club. So yay, yay me. Celebrate those small wins. Another thing that I've been able to do this month, which I'm really happy about, is move my blog from Bluehost to SiteGround. So Bluehost is such a slow hosting platform. Like anybody that recommends it to you, they don't like you. Like they're just trying to get the commission from the affiliate link. It is not a good platform. My blog was just so slow on Bluehost. So I've moved to SiteGround now and it's so much faster. You click on it and the page uploads as opposed to before where you click and you're waiting for five seconds. I know five seconds doesn't seem like a like long time, but in this day and age where we're used to getting information so fast and we get everything at a click of a finger no one's waiting around for five seconds for your site to upload so I think I was losing a lot of traffic that way because the blog was so slow so I'm so happy that I was able to move from Bluehost to SiteGround so yeah so watch this space because I'm gonna have a lot more great content coming for you guys now that the blog is not so painful to actually use it's giving me the motivation needed to keep writing again and keep producing new content for you guys so yeah have a look at it via the link below and while you're there please do subscribe to my newsletter so you can keep up to date with all my blog posts and all the content that I have coming out. So another thing that I achieved in the month of April was I was able to upload six videos onto my YouTube channel and that's the most I've ever done in any any month so far since being on the platform. So that's fantastic and I'm really pleased with that achievement and that result. So it's been a while since I've actually uploaded anything onto my Etsy store so I'm pleased to report that I uploaded one new item onto my Etsy store this month. It actually was a request that came through from a customer which was great. She brought one of my trackers and asked me to make another tracker so I added that tracker to the Etsy store this month. So yeah, quite a bit's been going on in the month of April, but aside from 
all of the business type things that I've been doing. I've obviously been busy homeschooling the kids and I'm pleased to report they're still all alive and well. It is very challenging having the kids at the house 24 seven, but it's been really good having that time with them and enjoying their company and yeah, just getting to know them a lot more and having that undivided time with them because obviously when they're at school, it's like they're in and out, in and out. You don't really have as much time with them, but during this lockdown, we've spent so much quality time together. So in terms of my plans for May or for next month, I don't even want to set myself too many goals or plans. I think I'm just going to continue to do what I've done so far this month of April. So that's really being intentional with every single day, planning in my days. So that's one thing that's really helped me a lot actually in the month of April is kind of setting myself a few goals for the day and just working through those three goals has really helped me to be productive this month. So yeah, as you can see, I've had an eventful April and yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with all I've been able to achieve in the space of a month while being on lockdown. Obviously, it's a crazy time right now and there's so much going on in the world of that is beyond my control but the things that I am able to control I've just been trying to kind of focus on that and so far it's been effective and it's been helpful so I'm just going to basically be doing a lot more of that in the month of May just really focusing on my family focusing on the side hustles focusing on things that I can do for myself and yeah Pray and just leave the rest in God's hand. So yeah, that's literally it for this video, guys. That's my April update and my plans for the month of May. My plan is that there isn't much of a plan. I'm just gonna do much more of what I have been doing and just keep praying and keep hoping that things will get better and eventually they will let us out and lockdown will be lifted and we can kind of, I don't know if we'll ever return to life the way it was, but we would return to some kind of normality and yeah, just watch this space, I guess. But yeah, if you do like this content, please do not forget to like. So give this video a big thumbs up, please. Just hit that like button, like, like, like. Yeah, like, leave a comment. Let me know you've watched it. Let me know what you think of how my April went. Let me know how your April went, actually. It'll be really good to know how April's been for you and what you've been able to achieve and accomplish. And then let me know your plans for May also. Like, what do you have planned for next month? Do you have plans for next month? We're gonna just kind of take each day as it comes, which is basically what I've been doing. So yeah. Like I said, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.